What's up, y'all? My name's Bill, and this is how I do it. Today, I'm coming back at you with another episode of TNT. If you don't know, that's Tiny Engine Tuesday. And today, we're working on a leaf blower. Not just any leaf blower. I'm working on a Home Light, Mighty Light, 26 BP uh, leaf blower. And today, the customer brought this unit in. He said it had a, a, a weak, it was running weak. And he also said he had a leak uh, coming from the gas tank. Upon further research, I found out that there was a massive recall for this particular model and this particular serial number that stated that they found out that it was gas leaking from the gas tank. And this, this was back in 2009, I believe. I'll post a link in the description below. And basically they was offering people to come in voluntarily to replace the gas tanks. Evidently, this one didn't start leaking until way after that. So uh, I told the customer about it. He told me just go ahead and just buy a new gas tank and replace it. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna replace this gas tank uh, with this one. Slightly smaller than this one, but uh, that's the recommended gas tank they said to get. So that's what I'm gonna get. And also, he said um, he was running it and it was still leaking, which is a major hazard. Don't ever do that. That's a big fire hazard. And uh, he also said it was running real weak. It didn't want to start. And I asked him, how long has it been sitting around? He said, it's been sitting around for a couple of years. I'm like, yeah, your carburetor's probably gunked up. So I'm going to check out the carburetor and uh, replace it if I have to. If not, I'll run it with the new gas tank. So let's get started. I can tell it's leaking from this area here. I'm not even gonna play any games with it. I'm just gonna replace it. It doesn't have much gas in it. It looks like it's all oil down there. But anyway, I'm gonna replace that. It uses some Torx screws um, to hold it in, T25s. And I'm just gonna get that out of there. And the new gas tank, um, it already has a, um, the lines connected to it. The filter's already in here. And I'm gonna try to pull the lines down so the filter can go all the way down to the bottom of the bowl. So, I mean, bottom of the gas tank. So, yeah, this, they made this real neat. It has three of them. It has one at the bottom here. One at the top. And it's one in the middle. So that just comes out of there like that. These lines are real old too. They are, you can tell they, they broke off already. So this area where the carburetor is, it has a nut holding it on. You know, let me see if I can get that off of here. All right, it has a little seven millimeter up here to get this choke. Also housing slash housing. All right, and it has a couple of washers underneath of it. All right, and it has a, a like a mesh filter on this uh, uh, choke housing or whatever you want to call it. I'm surprised this is the only filter that it has. It's kind of odd. So I see you got a nut right here that I have to get off. And I'm assuming it's a seven millimeter as well. And it has a Torx bolt right here I got to get off. I think that's connecting the carburetor to the engine. So while I'm already here, I'm going to go ahead and just take a look at this carburetor and or replace it. And then I'll replace the gas tank last. So I'm going to get a longer longer head longer socket there it goes all right that up ooh ooh 
That thing's in there. That thing's pretty tight. I don't want to mess that up. I don't want to mess that up. That thing's in there real tight, too. Flyers on this damn thing. Finally got this out of here. Now I gotta find a boat, the equivalent of this. Cause I just mutilated the top of this boat completely. Alright, I gotta come up with something. It's gonna be interesting. Alright, after battling with that screw, I got it off. I kind of mutilated the head, so I'm gonna have to find some way to replace it. But for the time being, I got enough of head on there. I'm gonna put this back on there until I replace it. And I'll probably go to the store tomorrow. But I just wanna get this thing back on here and um, make sure everything's running right. So I'm gonna take off the old carburetor and I'm just gonna compare the two of them. Virtually the same. I see a little bit of a difference there. But I don't think it's nothing that's going on. Oh, got it backwards. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly the same. Comparing the two, same carburetor. All right, we'll go back, put this carburetor back on here. So I wish the other side had a bolt on it like this side. It would have been a lot easier. But let me start line this up and put this other one on here. This bushing back on here. Get on there, it's throttle cable. I may have should have put this on here before. All right, got that on there. And now I gotta put the tank on with the lines. So I'm just lining this up. Yeah, I need some soft tip pliers. Probably would be better, but I don't have any at the moment. Make sure all this shit line up. Got the fuel lines back on. Just gonna put this fuel tank back on real quick. With the same little three screws on the top, one at the bottom. Well, one thing about staying in the country, boy, these doggone horse flies are atrocious. They be coming for blood. It's literally like 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 you a buffet to them. All right. 
Now all that's left is to do put on this top choke lever. everything put back in order and uh what i'm gonna do is uh gonna pull it up with some 50 to 1 gas mix and we're gonna test this bad boy out all right we got it back in here and uh I'm gonna go ahead and pump it up. Get some gas going in there, squirt, squirt. All right, got that going. All right, so let's see what we got. All right, fire it up. So I'm gonna go to half choke. Carb adjustments, man. We got a high and a low. Oh, wow. Can't really get to it. Dang. Man, you really can't get to it. I didn't catch this part on video where I made the carburetor adjustment tool because I couldn't fit the original in the space. What I did was I cut it in half, I attached it to a socket, then I attached the socket to a 3 8 ratchet and uh, got it done. All right, we got the backpack blower all finished up. Had to do a little carburetor adjustment to get it all working right. I didn't show it on camera. Uh, you know how to tune up a carburetor. Uh, for a baseline, turn both the high end low in, all the way in. Then I like to back mine out a couple of turns and then I go from there, bringing it in and usually it'll dial in pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna crank this thing up. I got it set to run because I already been running it, but the uh, procedure how to do it is right here on the side. So. go let me toss it on real quick let's blow some stuff it ain't the most powerful one in the world but Just about wraps up this video for this home light mighty light uh backpack blower uh i mean this blower right here is more or less for using to you know trimmed on your concrete and your subdivision it's blowing the the trimmings off the concrete it's not really the most powerful backpack more ever a uh, blower ever made so but we got it all fixed up and um that uh screw i'm gonna replace that screw on the carburetor that kind of got mutilated um so i'll probably do that tomorrow replace that screw but other than that this is how i do it say thank you for subscribing thank you scott okay let's hear it